There we go. So everyone, it's my pleasure to introduce you formally to Sharon Harvey Alexander with Mountain Wisdom Holistic Health. Sharon, you're gonna lead us in a, a, a wonderful exercise and I'm turning it over to you. Thank you, Denise. So great to be here. And it was really great to hear all the wonderful things Stephanie shared with you all. I would, um, I would suggest you to reach out and check in with her about her business and everything that's going on with you, Define Wellness. I am the rector, the founder and director of Mountain Wisdom Holistic Health in, in and around the Boulder, Colorado area. And I too work nationally and internationally. COVID has been a wonderful way for us to look at that whole online and virtual um, world and how we can connect even when there are perceived limitations. So one of the things I do is consult on proper breathing, good breathing practices to help manage stress. What's true is when someone tells you to take a deep breath, if they notice that you're tense or stressed or whatever, just, oh, just breathe it off. If you aren't, if the mechanics of your breathing are off kilter, you will still be fueling the stress response, the fight, flight, or freeze response when you take that deep breath. And I'm not gonna get into that now, but in the medical world, it's called paradoxical breathing or reverse breathing. And so I help people understand how to take an efficient and effective breath so that they can use breathing as a wonderful, always available, no cost, very simple and elegant stress management tool. Bef what I'd like to do is guide you in a very simple practice working with the breath. But before we do that, I invite you to stand up, put your feet on the floor and just shake things out. Good, good job. So I will do that too, push the chair away, whatever it is and I, um, and just move, right? You've been sitting all day, it might seem like. So even if you're in a chair, if you don't wanna stand up, just move your shoulders, move your arm, gently move your head, maybe lightly turn it side to side or up and down. And just what do you need to do to kind of shake off, to release, to let go of all that's come before? And when you're ready, Come back and take a comfortable seat. Let both feet rest on the floor and notice your seat. Notice your, uh, your body as it's sitting in the chair. Allow yourself to just settle down a little bit more. No need to worry about posture or anything else. And if you want to turn your video off, you can, but you all know each other by now. So, Notice your feet, the sensation of your feet on the floor, your seat in the chair, and lean back just a little bit. When we engage with life, often we're moving forward, we're moving into it, right? So I invite you to disengage a bit by leaning back, by relaxing your shoulders, your jaw, and even your eyes. Can you soften from the top of your head down through your face, your neck and shoulders, down the spine into your base? And if your eyes close because you're tired or that's just a natural way of turning off the outside world for you, let them close or I invite you to soften your gaze, turn it down. And take a moment to listen, to take your attention through your ears out into the room around you. Maybe out into the rest of the building or that space outside of where you are resting right now. And identify different sounds. What are the different sounds? you can, you hear around you. How far away is something you might hear? 
right now? Or what is the furthest away sound you can identify? And then bring that sense of hearing closer in. Listen for sounds in the building around you, whether it's a house or an office building, whatever it might be. Maybe the sound of water, a toilet flushing or a phone ringing, clock ticking. And identify sounds in the room where you are now. Maybe there are even sounds you become aware of in this quiet moment within you. As we relax, the belly often begins to gurgle. Sometimes we can feel or maybe hear the beating of the heart. And I invite you, if it feels comfortable and safe, to bring your attention now to the breath. Simply observe your breath. Simply observe breath as it moves in through your nose and back out again. Over and over, observing your breath as it travels from outside of you inward and then releasing it back out. Just this can be a wonderful antidote to a stressful situation before an important meeting, after a traumatic experience, while eating food or in conversation with a loved one. Connecting with the breath brings us to center, starts to turn off the stress response, So take a few more breaths. Notice breath at the nostrils. Notice the feeling of breath entering the nostrils and exiting the nostrils. Notice perhaps a change in temperature. Is it warmer as it comes out than it was before it entered? Cool as it enters, warm as it exits the nostrils. Awareness of breath. You may feel as if you're falling asleep, especially after an active day, that's okay. There are ways to use the breath as an energetic pick-me-up, but right now this is just a self-care and a little decompression a little letting go here at the end of the day. So I invite you now to focus on the exhalation. That's it, yawning is beautiful, beautiful, glad to see that. No problem, don't hold back. So exhale, exhaling, following the breath out, follow that breath all the way out to the end. And you might notice the breath will come in again and you don't need to grasp it or draw it in or do anything, but allow the breath to travel all the way out to the end and to cycle back around and come in again. Awareness of breath and the mind wanders, especially when we're still and it might say, oh, this is a waste of time or what good is this? Or, oh, there's so many other things I could be doing. Acknowledge that, yes. Set it aside, bring your attention back to the breath. Following that breath out to the end, maybe there's a little pause. The pauses are where the magic happens. The breath turns around and comes in. Maybe it comes in, comes in, comes in, and then there's a natural pause before it turns around and moves out again. And for a moment, we're going to transition. I invite you to take a big breath in through your nose, open your mouth wide and sigh it out. <sighs> and if I have just a few more minutes, 
we will come back to the breath again. Put a hand on the belly, one hand or two hands. You could put a hand on the chest if you wanted, or you could keep them on the belly. Whatever is comfortable, we're not efforting here. Allow your body to move now as you breathe, especially the belly. Can you soften the belly? Is it possible to invite the belly to expand out, not move up and down, but to move out, in and out as you breathe? So the diaphragm drops into the belly to allow more space in the lungs to fill with air when we breathe in that moves the belly out. And when we exhale, if we can give a little squeeze to help release the air up and out of the lungs, this movement of the belly, this diaphragmatic breathing, turns on the relaxation response, stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system and heals all ills. If you're curious about that, reach out, I would be happy to chat with you briefly, consult on breathing. If you had difficulty with this, let's fix that. And one more big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, let it all go. And I thank you for this opportunity to share this with you. Take it with you, use it anywhere and anywhere. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> I've written a book on it. So if you're looking for details, specifics of how to work with your breath in a very nourishing and baseline way, and then you can always take it deeper. There are lots of breath work people out there, whatever it is, please consider picking up my book. And yes, Chi is now on. Thank you, Tehran. Um, so thank you so much. This was wonderful. This feels amazing. Thank you, Carlton. I appreciate that so much. It's so simple. In the book, there are um, practices that build on each other and can take you deep, deep, deep. Diaphragmatic breathing is the second practice. And in the back is a plan for those of you who like plans, how to work with the practices over five weeks to create your own uh, stress relieving practice that you can drop into any moment, anywhere any time, really great for digestive issues, really great for anxiety and depression, really great for so, so, so many things, heart issues, blood pressure, it's endless. So reach out if you have any questions, would love to talk with you and thank you. Thank you, Denise, thank you.